Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday the 7th. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It is quarter past eight, or 12 minutes past eight in the morning, um, and we have Sky being fitted today. <laughs> um, it's something that I've been looking forward to and something I've been dreading um, because it's not the Sky that we've had before, it's the Sky we've had before were the old boxes and everything. The new Sky that we're getting is the Sky Q. Um, <clears throat> never had that before and I only know two people that have got it. Um, so yeah, we're getting rid of Virgin completely. I just find that it's easier just to have a full package with a company. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that is what's happening today. So BT are coming to, I think, test the line or set up the line or whatever they're going to do. Uh, between 8 and 1 and then 8 and 1 I've got a message um, <clears throat> yes 8 and 1 and then Sky will be here between uh, 1 and 4 <laughs> so it's like a whole day thing just sitting here waiting um, no doubt they'll be really late but never mind <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm just going to edit yesterday well yesterday last two days vlog um, I don't know what I'm going to get filmed today because obviously I don't know how long people are going to be here for. Um, the last time that we had the BT people come and do whatever they've got to do with the line, they didn't even come in. Um, so I don't know whether it's something they've got to do outside and just flick a switch or whatever. Um, I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, so when I had Virgin fitted, he was here for a good few hours, I think. Um, and then it, it came to light that the person that fitted my Virgin, uh, so my uh, TV box, the internet, and connected the phone up, was the partner of a girl that I used to go to school with. And she met this um, bloke when, round about the time that I met Ian. So they've been together, obviously, just as long as me and Ian have been together. And I recognised him so bad, and I was trying to look on Facebook, but he doesn't have a Facebook. Um, <clears throat> and then we just got chatting, and, like, it was really late of a night, and, I, and he goes, oh, um, like, this is my last one, I can go home then. And I said, oh, do you live far? He said, oh, I live in Is Islington. And I knew she lived in Islington. Um, I went to school in Islington. And, uh, I went, your other half isn't Mel by any chance. And he went, yeah. I was like, oh, I went to school with her. Um, and, and we were talking about um, school days because obviously she was with him when we was in school and she had a friend called Carol. Um, and we was in all in the same class and that. But obviously everyone gets in their little groups. Um, and yeah, it was, we were just talking about that. It was... It was quite nice, actually, to actually think that oh, I sort of know you. <laughs> um, but no, it was nice. Uh, I doubt the person that are that will be coming to fit the sky today. I will know. <laughs> you never know, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I set my alarm for eight o'clock this morning, and I was up when sort of Ian went to work at quarter past seven. Then I was busting for the loo. I was like, I'll just get up. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's not 12 minutes past. It's 16 minutes past now. So I've been rambling for four minutes. Um, <clears throat> so I have started the unicorn hood. I have I have ripped what I did. I ripped back what I did last night. And I have made it a little bit bigger. Because the little girl that I'm making it for is 10. The pattern is 4 to 7. So I just thought... Making it a little bit bigger might just help. She's quite a small ten, don't get me wrong, but um, th it would last longer then, won't it? So I'm going to get on and edit. <laughs> um, and if you remember a couple of... It wasn't even a couple of months ago. It was a little while ago. I bought a spider plant. So this plant here. And it's been sat either up there or right in front of the window. But I think it's having babies. Let me show. Let me see if I can show you. Is this is this a plant having babies? I don't know. It's really strange. Like there's like loads of bits coming out of one. So does that mean it's having babies? I think so. Um, <clears throat> 
so yeah I'm excited for that I don't know why my plants having babies I think or new shoots I don't know <laughs> um I might have to ask Tina because she's actually got one and she did mention the other day because she's had hers for quite a while I think um she got it in the spring or just when it was coming up to summer before I went on holiday and um hers she said oh mine mine hasn't had babies yet so I'm just assuming that that is what that is <laughs> anyway I'm gonna stop rambling about plants I'm gonna go and edit my video oh I thought there was a spider there's no spider <laughs> I'm using my ring light to see if that helps because it's super dark uh, ridiculous like yeah, if I didn't have the light on, it would be pitch black in here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to edit and shut up <laughs> and go. So, I don't know what I'm going to update you with today. We'll just have to wait and see and go from there. So, just a quick follow-on from yesterday. Um, I've just edited my video. And we did put everything in the loft. We also put that big unit that was here in the loft as well. So, that has given us so much more room. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so everything was in the loft. Now everything that was in the hallway is in the bedroom. Which will come back in here eventually, obviously. But it's all Ian's um, bits for the car or the engine. Um, but he doesn't want to take them to the garage yet because he's not really ready for them parts. If that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I just thought I'd quickly update you on that because I just sort of didn't even say anything after it at all yesterday. Um, but yeah, so literally here is the floor here, so it's a lot tidier, there's just a lot of yarn there. Over in the corner, um, this is the ball of wool that I bought um, the other day. Um, I've got my knitting up here and I'm using the, the bowl that I bought the other day um, from the fair. Um, that was 20p <laughs> and I'm using it as a yarn bowl because the yarn that I'm using is actually balled up and it was jumping everywhere and I thought oh I could use that instead of putting little balls of wool in it I could use that for now so I did clean it all out I washed it beforehand anyway um, and my other bits are up there my Christmassy bits not that I really want them out just yet but um, I didn't want to put them in the loft just to get them back down in like I want to say a couple of weeks but I'm not putting my tree up in a couple of weeks but they're okay over there for now um so yeah I'm gonna I am just rendering now so um I'm gonna go back over there and finish the hood to that unicorn thing because I'm not that far off finishing actually it's quite quick um and I think that I want to do some things that are instant gratification uh, as I have been doing a lot of um big projects lately like the cardigan for Mikey which was not big but it wasn't small either um it was quick don't get me wrong um i don't know but obviously i've done the cardigan for myself that's taken forever um and then i'm doing the yellow jumper um at the moment so i'm hoping this will sort of be quick and i don't want to say easy but quick and easy for me to see progress anyway good to pardon me <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling and um, do some crochet for a change so it's now 10 to 1 I've just put a crisp in my mouth so I do apologize <laughs> um, but the I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see on the bottom shelf out there I can't actually see on the bottom shelf which is here is the new modem um, I went that's what I went and picked up the other day uh, but the open reach man which is part of BT um switch the line on so the telephone line which is that box there switch the line on he's plugged the modem in and that's all working so my phone is actually working off of that at the moment uh it's the only thing that's working off of that um but uh yeah once the sky the virgin is gone today then we can slowly start putting things over um the virgin will be cut off tomorrow um, so yeah, anyway, so the, the BT man has come and has, has been and done all that, uh, still waiting for the Sky man, um, so yeah, it's 10 to 1, so they could be here between 1 and 4, um, I have finished the hood for the crocheted unicorn scarf thing, me bob, um, I'm just doing the pattern as 
I'm doing it. I'm not doing it in any particular way. Um, I am very, very briefly following the pattern, but I've changed a few things like the size and so on. <laughs> um, I'm just catching up with YouTube. Um, the new box hopefully will have YouTube, the YouTube app. Uh, well, I know it's got the YouTube app, so and it's got Netflix on it as well. Um, I think they say it else on it on there. I can't remember now. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I've just had some lunch. I just had some soup. Hmm, it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just literally waiting for the Skyman now. So yeah, not very interesting, but um, I'm watching Mina. From the knitting expat i think this is a spinning video yeah um i don't actually mind watching her spinning videos because i quite like her as a person so if i like someone as a person i watch all their videos not just the ones that i like, have the, the knitting or the crochet or whatever um so yeah anyway i'm gonna finish my bag of crisps i've taken one crisp out of it and then thought oh let me vlog and uh, let you know an update um i don't know whether i'm eating whether I'm meeting Ian a bit later at the garage but then again it all depends on what time all this here is finished but uh, yeah also I've been watching Kelly and she's given me so many ideas <laughs> Kelly has just put a video up on her channel which is crafted by Kelly and then a X um, she has made um, like a short campfire cardigan thing and oh my god it looks so nice so I have got so much of the Aldi Aaron that um I might make one actually for myself um and have it as like a little I don't want to say bomber jacket but like a little um chock on type thing that I can wear with jeans and that so yeah you've given me some ideas Kelly thank you <laughs> even though I've got so many other things that I need to do I had someone message me last night um one of the uh, team waffle lot um asked me if I could um do a doggy coat uh but she's gonna send me the des the size of the dog and whatever and then um I've just got to get back to her with a price and yeah that's my mum so I'll speak to you later so, I am fuming. <laughs> My ears, steam could have come out of, I swear to God. So, Sky turned up at ten past one. It's now half past three. Um, the engineer refused to do the work uh, because he was saying that the... Let me just turn this on to make sure it doesn't go blurry. Um, he refused to do the work because he couldn't get to the Sky Dish, even though I've explained to him that people have got to the sky dish before there's not been a problem blah 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 he's saying no um i was fuming so there was two of them so they quickly came in i explained to him about the wire in the wall um and he didn't really listen to me anyway so he went downstairs with the other gentleman um i want to call them gentlemen they weren't gentlemen at all because they just did not listen to a word i said um then one of them come back and said, oh, we can't do the work. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, we can't get to the sky dish that's already there. I said, well, people have got to that sky dish before. Yes, but there's a bush in the way. Right. Was that bush there before the sky dish went up? I was like, yeah, that bush has been there since the building's been here. And that sky dish has not been up since the building's been here. Anyway, fuming, fuming, fuming. Um, so this morning BT came. And fitted the the broadband and the phone. So I said to the bloke, I said, well, what do I do about sending the equipment back then? He said, um, well, we'll cancel this job. And if you want to um, cancel the broadband and phone, then you just got to ring Sky. Okay, that's fine. My Virgin doesn't cut off until tomorrow. So I've done that. Uh, no, so, yeah. <laughs> so I rang Sky and I said, well, I want to cancel. I said, because um, the bloke's reckons that he can't get to the sky dish it's about eight foot off the ground um and there's a bush in the way which there isn't really there is a bush there but there is room to get around the bush anyway if i go downstairs later i'll show you if i remember um so yeah anyway he's so the w woman that i spoke to said oh there's a special access team that can come out and um 
try and get to it for you. Okay, that's that's great. Got cut off. Had to ring back. Explained all this again. And the man said, oh, yeah, that's fine. Let me have a look at their diary, blah, blah, blah. The nearest date I can get is the 1st of December. So I said, well, you're telling me I'm going to go with no TV for a whole month, nearly. I said, because I don't have a smart TV. I don't have... Um, an aerial plugged into my TV um, just because we don't have it plugged in I don't even think the wire I don't think we've got an aerial wire um, so I said to him I said no I'm not happy I said cancel it I said cancel the whole lot he said okay that's fine blah 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 and he went on and on and on and he said okay you'll be um, there's a 14 day cancellation period I was like okay he said so you won't go without services for 14 days Okay, I then rang Virgin, got off the phone, he cancelled it and done everything. Got on the phone to Virgin because I thought, well, maybe they might not be able to cancel the cancellation and I don't want to go without broadband because then at least we can get things on our phone and stream and whatever. So, uh, rang Virgin and I said, um, I explained everything, I said that I've had Sky in today, they couldn't do the work. I want to cancel the cancellation. I want to stick with my package. She went, that's fine. Let me just go and see if I can do that. Yep. She came back. She went, that's all fine. The only problem is, is because the telephone line's already been taken over, um, you won't have no telephone line. You'll have to ring in about a week to get that re reactivated. Um, and we don't know whether you'll be able to keep your number. I said, that's fine. The number's not important at all. It's emergencies only. We use our mobile for everything. So it's fine. Um, so anyway, I then spoke to Ian and I said that they're going to charge us for 14 days use. I don't need 14 days use because Virgin is still working. Anyway, got back on the phone to Sky. I spoke to a lovely gentleman, Simon, who at first um, was saying that it's the 14 day uh, terms and conditions, this, that and the other. I said, yeah, but at the end of the day, I wanted a package. You can't give me that package that I want. I'm cancelling on the same day that it has been installed because you can't provide me with what I have bought. You can't provide the whole package. He said, yes, but um, you'll only get charged 14 days. So your bill will come out and then you'll get refunded within 45 days. I said, it's not good enough. I said, it's really not good enough. My virgin is still working. My virgin is still active. It's really not good enough. I was fuming on the phone. I said, I want to speak to a manager. Anyway, I was on hold for about 10 minutes. He was saying, oh, the manager's on the call. The manager's on a call. Anyway, in the end, he came back to me. He said, look, because the manager's still on a call, I've escalated this further myself. Um, and I have given you a credit for what you would have been charged um, for the 14 days. So on your next bill, um, you can either cancel it with the bank or pay it and then get a full refund. Um, but you will get a full credit. You won't have to pay anything. So in the end, thing, thumbs up because I haven't got to pay anything to Sky. For not having their services. I said, I'm not being funny. I've had your services for five minutes. Like, he said, the only way that you could um, cancel and not pay is if you cancelled straight away when the engineer was still here. I said, but how am I supposed to do that when you send a BT engineer in the morning, but then the Sky engineer in the afternoon? I That's impossible for me to ring up and cancel it when I don't know that there's going to be a problem. Also... I have suggested to them, they're not going to take no notice of me, I've suggested to them that maybe they get an engineer round before the installation day to see if they need a special access team um, or what they need to put a dish up or whatever. Nine times out of ten it's probably simple. This seems simple to me, but obviously not. It's health and safety gone mad. Um, I'm just fuming. <laughs> I'm really, really angry. Um, I'm just a bit fed up. I just, oh, yeah, I'm done. So it's 20 to 4. I really need to go and um, go Tesco and get some bits. And I don't know whether I'm meeting Ian at the garage. I don't know. I'll probably just sit here and chill with her. Oh, 
hot drink or something. So I did all that tidying up yesterday, moving everything out of the way for nothing. I'm so angry. <laughs> uh, but I said to Ian, maybe in the new year that we will ring Sky again and I will explain exactly what we need. So we need the special access team to come out and put a new dish up for us because the normal engineers are invalids. <laughs> um, I did actually say to the lady on the phone the first time, what was it the first, the second, whatever time it was, um, the lazy engineer, she went, we do have some good engineers as well. I said, yeah, I know that. I said, but these ones were lazy. They just did not want to do the job, I don't think. Um, he came up here, and when he was in here, he said, oh, it's on the third floor. And you think, yeah. It's not really on the third floor. It's the second floor, because you've got ground one and two. We're at the top. Um, you've got big ladders on your van. You've got two vans with loads of big ladders on the top. Anyway, I'm really, really going on now. I've been rambling for eight and a half minutes about this. Um, so, yeah, I apologise. Anyway, I'm going to go <laughs> and um, calm, chill. So we're back with Virgin. We've got Virgin. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, anyway, that's that. I'll catch you up in a bit. So it's much later, half past seven, and blurry. <laughs> um, I've been to the garage, and I've met Ian. Um, I took some bits that came in the post for him. Uh, I've been to Tesco, and I just I needed just silly things like deodorant, and Ian needed like breakfast bars and things. Um, so I went to Tesco, come home, had a bath, had a hair wash. Um, I just can't be bothered to do anything with it so I've just sort of clipped it up and hope for the best uh, I'll straighten it tomorrow and do whatever but uh, yeah I've been a terrible vlogger and I think today has just been um, I don't want to say an emotional one because not a, like a sad emotional but angry emotional because of what's happened with the sky and things um finally got it sorted won't be paying any money um but it's just palava and like ian said the sky dish is easily accessible anyway i didn't get a picture of it i didn't take you i didn't take the camera out with me because i knew i was only quickly popping here there and whatever um i it's only half past seven, so I might come on a bit later to show you any progress that I've done. But I have got the hood for um, the unicorn thing. I'm sure I'm sure I've I am sure I have shown you that. Um, and I might work a bit on my socks tonight as well. Um, so yeah, and I am using this yarn bowl as um, a bit of a project bowl, which is working pretty good. Um, I have all the rest of the wall behind me uh, so uh, I've just got dinner on Ian's on his way home and yeah that's pretty much it so I'll probably catch you up a little bit later with any progress that I've got so it's now half past ten and I haven't really done any more than earlier on <laughs> um, I have spoken to um, the little girl that wants this and she wanted black ears so I have done two black ears and she don't want she don't really want it to look like a unicorn uh, she don't want the mane and she don't want the horn so I'm just gonna um, do the scarf with the pockets striped in pink and the cream color like this and then yeah so it all together so it's gonna take a lot less time than I actually thought it was going to um, but yeah and I have Got this much for the actual scarf which is not a lot so I'm gonna carry on with that now and see how I get on but I just want to come on and end today's vlog so thank you for watching and I shall see you all tomorrow bye